All right. Good morning, you guys. I'm so glad we're here together. What day is it? Wednesday. I'm like losing track already. Oh, it's, oh, it's April 1st. April Fool's Day, but the biggest joke is being played on us right now. <laughs> I wish I could say this was a joke. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and start standing at the top of our mats. Let's go ahead and lift onto your toes, back onto your heels, wiggle those toes, set a nice foundation for yourself. So we just want to wake up our feet. That's why we wiggle them. Because that's what carries us through our day. So now let's just align our ankles, knees, and hips. Have a neutral spine, slight tilt to your pelvis, draw the navel in, sternum up, shoulders down. So you really spread your toes and spread them firmly to your mat. Set that foundation down and roll out to the knife edges of your feet. It feels amazing to the ankles. Feel that nice little stretch. I don't know about you guys, but I have been trying not to sit so much. I'm like pacing my house, standing at my kitchen counter, reading, so I'm not sitting all the time. Um, feels to my ankles, and I'm barefoot in my house, so on hard floors, it's hard, so it feels good to stretch them. So roll, roll your knees inward now. Roll onto the insides of your feet. And just kind of move back and forth to the outer edges and inward. Outside and inside, outside and inside, and then now place those feet down. Kiss all four corners of your feet to the floor, and then pull those kneecaps up towards your hips, engaging the banda at the pelvic floor, lifting into the sphincters. As you draw that navel back towards the spine, it lifts up towards the sternum. It's an energetic belly lock. As we draw our chin in, crown up. You just have that line of energy, that current that moves through the body. So we'll close our eyes. Take a big inhale through your nose and a big exhale through your mouth. And just meet yourself here this morning on your mat with eyes closed. Our practice is one that is set with intention and mindfulness, creativity and compassion. So we stand with our self-respect and respect for those around us. We're able to draw more internally as we focus on our breathing in this space. Just allow the breath to slow down. Find nostril breathing. And connect to that UIG breath. And it flows in as an audible toning through the back of the throat. It just sounds like the ocean current. And that vibrational toning sends the energy through the body. Helps our body calm down and draw our attention into the present moment. Our practice is gonna be dedicated to letting go. Letting go of things we can't control, like our circumstances we're here experiencing. Things we can't change. Our environment around us. Letting go of, in this opportunity of self-discovery, being home, letting go of things that no longer serve us, such as self-belittling chatter of the mind, judgment, competition. I mean, the foods that don't serve us, it's really easy as we're home to like use food as our comfort. And our yoga practice is not just intended to be on our mat, it's meant to be taken off our mat. And so it's a mindful practice. So as we're off our mat today, may we be mindful to letting go of foods that don't serve us. Be mindful in our relationships that don't serve us. And go ahead and bring our hands to heart center. So we stand with unshakable faith in our practice as we cultivate that faith, trusting we are guided, we are loved and supported where we are. And with that respect and a dedication to ourselves and our practice, we'll begin with humility, gratitude, and compassion. Lifting arms all the way up. Exhale, fold. Lift up halfway, lengthen through the tailbone, gaze forward, navel in, and exhale, fold. Shake your head, lift your heels. Find a movement in your body, wake that body up, the blood circulates to the brain. And then again, lift halfway up, 
lift and exhale, deepen. Step it back, kneeling. Shoulders and wrists will line up. Cat and cow. Roll the pelvis under chin to chest, arch it tall, and then come back neutral. And then again, round tuck, squeeze, and then come back neutral. And then round it and release it. And just a couple more, rounding and releasing, rounding and releasing. And then I want you to take your knees out wide. I want you to sit your tailbone back towards your heels, stretch those arms out. We're gonna make big circles, moving in the right direction first. Just bring our shoulders and wrists line up, hips drop down and rotate around. Just big circles. Pulling ourselves out as so shoulders and wrists line up as you lean out, drop those hips. Moving from the right, breathing through that motion. And then switch directions, move towards the left. Again, shoulders and wrists line up. Press those hips back, big circles. Drop those hips down as those shoulders and wrists line up. And it can be a big circle, it can be a little smaller. You can move faster, you can move slower. And your last one. And then sit back, arms stretch out. And then I want you to pull your knees together and sit on the backs of your toes. Sit on the, those toes are lifted, sit back. So again, we did this, I think, in our last class. Just sit back on those toes, those toes are lifted up. And we're gonna come into a mudra for removing obstacles, because this practice is all about letting go. So we're gonna take our left hand, place it at our heart, pinky comes up, right hand, comes on top and we're going to clasp those fingers thumb left thumb is down right thumb is up and you're going to resist so really engage at the chest and the back to resist against those fingers press at the heart center and then those thumbs just press in and as you hold here i know you're feeling that stretch in those toes if it's too much for you to bear you can always unleash those toes but if you can hold here it's the obstacle so right now your mind's kind of focused maybe on those toes but draw the attention at the heart center, this spacious space of breathing in and breathing out, letting go of tension. Just let's go of stress. Removes obstacles and lifts the spirit. Drawing yourself into the present here and now. Releasing what no longer serves us. Standing faithful. We cultivate that faith through our practice. It's in the unseen unshakable of the knowing that we are guided and supported through anything we're going through trusting the process take a breath and then release the hands shake the fingers lift up those toes flat in your feet sit back and we're gonna work on a bellows breath pulling prana so this invigorates it resets the parasympathetic nervous system it gives us clarity so again, we're letting go. It's also a space of forgiveness. And we need clarity in that space to really have discernment. So let's go ahead and place our palms facing outward, thumbs just on the outside of this fist. But you're gonna take a big inhale, reach arms up, fingers spread wide and inhale, exhale, pull fists back down. It's one breath, one motion, one second in and out. So it's a quick breath in through our nose and out through our nose, nostril breathing. So it's arms extend, fingers up, pull it down, fists down, extend, Inhale, pull it down, exhale. four three two last one and bring your hands prayer you may feel a little wooziness a little lightheadedness if your nose got a little out of control there from there if you need to wipe it off <laughs> all right just uh hands at center feeling that opportunity right here to find that clarity 
for a deeper essence of letting go, of releasing. Being open to what our practice has to offer us today. And lifting arms all the way up, lift up. And then we're gonna take the left arm down, reach up and over. And then other side, reach up and over. And then you're gonna move side to side. And side to side. Doing that stretch side to side. One breath, one movement. Several more. Gaze up through that armpit. And your last one and bring a center. Hands to heart center. Take a big inhale, lift all the way up and then bring yourself kneeling. Cat and cow several more times. Arch around, tuck it under, chin to chest. And your last one, press in, curl the toes downward, facing dog. Head away heel, shake your head. Hold right here. Really feel your downward facing dog. So your fingers become like little starfish, just spread nice and wide, grip in those fingertips, suction cup the center of your hands, the knife edge of your palms, kiss the floor. Arms are long, spine is long, tailbones up, legs are engaged. Let your heels come as close as you can to the mat. You don't have to touch. As you're in your down dog, you can always have that bend in your knees, those heels up. Join the navel in. Ears and elbows are side by side. So engage those toes towards your knees, your knees towards your hips, your hips towards your ribs. And just breathe. And then roll it out to plank pose. Take your right toes out to the corner, left toes out to the corner, and hold. And then you're going to step side to side. Just tap side to side. So one corner of your mat to the other. If you need to come onto your knees and modify, you can always have knees and extend opposite those legs out. Tap side to side, side to side, side to side. About eight more, seven more, six more, five, four, three, two, and your last one, bring a center hold, shift that weight forward. And lay all the way down to your abdominals. Feet are at the edges of your mat still. Fingers are going to come out wide, out to the edges of the side. Draw your shoulder blades down and back. Press in. Feet are wide. Press into those feet. Press, press, press. And then release. And then press fingertips. Press the shoulder blades down and back. Engage the back. Engage the glutes. Lift up and then release. And then again, press. High on those fingers, press it, press those hip bones down into the mat, feet are flat, and then bring it back down. Just a couple more, lift, round, deepen, press in, press in, and release. Last one, press in, lift, hold, and then release the feet together, hands line with your chest, elbows tuck in and back, press upward, facing dog. Then little tricep dips. Just ignite the fire in the back of your arms. Press, press, press. And about eight and seven, six and five, four and three and two. And your last one, press and hold. Breathe in, breathe out. And then lift your hips. Keep those feet flat. And then come right back down. So you can lift those hips as high as you can, draw the navel in, keep the tops of your feet flat, and then drop your hips right back down. It may be a small motion, it may be a big motion. Just do your best, lift those hips. <clears throat> Breathing through it, lift, and release. Lift, 
try to hang your head, stay in control. Be precise with your movement, blinking breath, and bring it down. One more. Next time you lift it up, flip those toes. Downward facing dog. Breathe. Lift on those toes. Squat into your thighs. Downward puppy as you press in. Getting ready to engage that hop to the top. Press in. Press in. Fire up those thighs. Preparing you to get to the top of your mat. Now you're going to squat nice and deep. Gaze between your hands. Take a big step or hop to the top of your mat. Take a big inhale, lift, find your chair, keep your hands prayer. Press in, make sure your knees do not go over your toes. You really wanna accentuate pushing your booty back as you roll the pelvis under, long spine. Now reach those arms up overhead, shoulder blades down. Staying united with that UIG breathing. Drop another inch. Squeeze through those thighs. Engage the muscles. Engage the bondas. Find unity with the breathing. Just unite with the body, with the mind, and the spirit. Drop another inch. Begin to feel those shakes. Breathe through it. Feel that sense of letting go and overcoming. And then bring your hands to heart center. Sit a little deeper, take a big inhale, lift arms all the way up. And let's just flow, have a seat. Lift tall, have a seat, lift tall. Feeling that internal heat as you flow. <clears throat> one breath, one movement. Several more. So a little deeper again, make sure you're not pushing those knees forward. Your booty goes back. Sit, feel invigorated. The L heart rate elevates. And four more, three more, two more. Last one, lift up nice and tall and exhale, fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step back downward, facing dog. Bring it out to plank. Really press in, grip with those fingers, shift your weight forward, rock forward and back. Gaze is aligned right on the nose edge of your mat as you keep your neck aligned with your spine. Shift your weight forward, hold. Elbows tuck in. Elbows are going to go back. If you need to fall onto your knees with a long spine, you can. Just shift that weight forward, elbows tuck in. You slowly, slowly hover. Shoulders and elbows line up. Flip the toes upward. Facing dog. Belly doesn't hit the mat. Hang in there. Then push up if you choose or just press straight back. Downward facing dog. Breathe. Lift the heels, squat in the thighs, gaze between your hands, take a big step or hop to the top. Big inhale, lift, find your chair. Big inhale, lift, find your fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back. Downward facing dog. Bring it out to plank, hold. Again, rock forward and back. Find that engagement. Breathe into it, shift it forward, hold it, elbows tuck in. Slowly, chaturanga, shoulders, elbows line up. Belly does not hit the floor. If you need knees, find them. Flip upward, facing dog, flip those toes, flatten your feet. Press into the earth, round into your back. Elongate the spine. Add that push up if you choose. Downward, facing dog. Squat deep in those thighs. Gaze between your hands. Take a big step or hop to the top. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chair. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Squat deep. Gaze forward. Step it back. Downward facing dog. Bring it out to plank. Elbows tuck in. Chaturanga upward facing dog. Push up. Downward facing dog. Take the right leg. Kick it up. Center your hip, flexing that heel. Take that leg, kick it out to the side, hover, hold it. Then right back up behind you, center the hip, hold it. 
then out to the side, hover, hold it. Then right up behind you, hold it. Out to the side, hold it. Up behind you, hold it. Out to the side, hold it. Behind you. To the side, if you need that left knee for modification, you can. Out to the side. Kick it up behind you. Out to the side. Kick it behind. Out to the side. Kick it behind. To the side. And behind. Last one side. And behind. Hold. Bend that knees back. Your hip. Open it up. Now we're going to make big circles to straighten that leg. Take it out to the sides. Drop it all the way down to the floor. Swoop it all the way up. Then big circle out to the side. Take it down. Lift. Out to the side. Take it down. Lift it up. Out to the side. Drop it down. Lift it up. Out to the side. Take it down. Lift. Hold. Then drop it straight down. Lift it up. Bring it around. Drop it down. Swoop it up. Out to the side. Drop it down. And lift it out to the side. Bring it around. One more. And then lift that leg up high, pull it through on Janiyasana, press those hips forward, gaze forward. So right leg is forward, knee and ankle line up as you press those hips in, hold and breathe. Kickstand that back leg, open kneeling, side gate, open up. Hands behind your head, rotate side to side, just rotate. Feel through those obliques as you press that right leg extended. Left knee and hip line up. Rotate, moving through the torso. It's not the elbows that are leading. It's the torso that moves. And four more, three more, two more. And your last one, center it. Take that right hand down that right leg and lift that left arm up and over. And then bring it around, press it right back into that Anjani Asa. Take it to a runner's lunge and little pulses. Deepen down into it, feel that space opening up. Then drop to your knee, straighten that front leg, forehead towards your knee, walk those fingertips forward. As you sit back deep, then you walk yourself back, sit all the way down. Draw the left leg out the foot is off to the side as you sit tall reach it down pull your chest forward without collapsing so it's elongating outward as you reach yourself down again it's your personal best and try not to have your legs super far apart try to bring them close together stretch in hold and breathe and then slowly walk yourself right back up to that runner's lunge take that right leg kick it high to the sky then pull it in three times to your heart center. Turn to chest plank pose. Kick it up. Pull it in chin chest. Kick it up. Last one. Pull it in. Kick it up. And then let's chaturanga. Upward. Facing dog. Push up. Down dog. Left leg. Left side. Kick it up. Center that hip. Flexing that foot. Kick the leg out to the side. Keep that foot flexed. Then right up behind you, then to the side, then up behind you, then to the side, and behind, to the side, and behind, to the side, and behind, outside, lift it up, take it wide, and behind, out wide, kick it up, four more, take it wide, Kick it up, three more, take it wide, <clears throat> kick it up, take it wide, last one, and then take it out, and then lift it up, stack your hip, bend in that knee, just open it up, we're going to make big circles, so straighten that leg, take it out to the side, drop it all the way down, lift it up, take it out, drop it down, swoop it up, take it out to the side, drop it down, lift it up, take it out to the side, drop it down, lift it up, and then hold, drop it straight down, bring it around, lift it up, drop it down, take it out to the side, lift it up, and then drop it down, take it out, swoop it around, big circles, last one, and then bring that leg all the way up, 
Kick it through. Anjani Asana. Press those hips forward. Woo! All right, knee and ankle line up. Press into it. Hold it. Breathe. Open in that space and then kickstand that leg around. Kick the left leg straight. Open up to the heart center. Bring your hands behind your head. Rotate through the torso. Left leg is strong. Engage the muscles. Kneeling on your right leg. Knee and hip line up. Elbows stay open as you rotate through the torso. Breathe in. Breathe out. Deep breaths. It can be rapid breaths. Stay connected to the bellows breath if you want to use that right here you can nostril breathing rapid quick exhale exhale inhale four and three and two center hold left arm extends down the left leg right arm reaches up and then pivot yourself back to the top of your mat into that crescent lunge we'll extend that back leg little pulses get a little deeper then drop to that back knee straighten that front leg left leg straight kneeling on the right slowly drop yourself back onto your bottom pull those knees together sit tall do your best you can again here you may find one side you're better on than the other i can definitely get down further on the other side than i can this side you can reach your elbows if you can't just stay up on those fingers just do your best to hinge forward. And again, it's not a collapsing. So you're not collapsing. You're pulling your chest forward, elongating, pressing tailbone back, pulling chest forward. And then slowly pivot yourself up. Come back to that lunge. Get deep into that runner's lunge. And then you're going to take that left leg. Kick it high to the sky. Pull it into your heart center three times, chin to chest. Then kick it up then pull it in, then kick it up, then pull it in, and kick it up, and chaturanga, upward, facing dog. Push up, downward, facing dog. Check in with yourself. Make sure all is well. And then walk your hands back as you step out wide off the edges of your mat. Lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, hands to your ankles, gaze through your legs. Squat deep into your thighs, fingertips to the mat and pulse. Feel a little tribal right here. Engaging, navel to spine, sit deep. Energetically moving our physiology as our legs are wide, shaking that booty, letting go. So again, remember our hips are big memory storage pockets. Right now we're opening them up. Squeezing in, igniting that fire. So it's an opportunity to let go here. Feeling primal in our energy. Going all the way back, removing programs that we hold on to from ancestral lines, anything that no longer serves us from being the way we are raised, anything environmentally, within our home life now. We hold <clears throat> energetically how things affect us. It's our story. Nobody else's. So now it's our opportunity to heal. As we work physically on the outside, it manifests inwardly. So breathe. Feel that fire igniting. The thighs are on fire. Hang in there. And then sit hold. Bring your hands to prayer. Feel that fire is ignited. Close your eyes. It's the subtleties of our inner body, our inner knowing. Awaken. We release and let go. Shift your weight back and forth from your heels to the balls of your feet. From the heels to the balls of your feet. I know the legs are on fire thinking, oh my goodness. Hang in here. This is about letting go. What you can't control. Having compassion and forgiveness. Finding faith. Hold it. Take a big inhale. Lift arms all the way up. Stretch. Feel that length. Come right back down, touch the mat. Reach up nice and tall. If you can't get all the way down to the mat, just do your best. If you're just barely there, you wanna lift up, 
Honor where you're working today. This is your practice. Sit deep, lift tall, long spines. Again, getting that energy flowing through the body so we can write new pathways. As we let go of what no longer serves us, sending intentions and those new thoughts, creating more love, more joy, and more peace. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Smile, let go of any tension, lift up, lift up, and lift up. Four more, three more, two more, and your last one, lift up nice and tall, come right forward, fold. Heel toe those feet back together and walk it out, plank pose. So really press into those hands, shoulders and wrists line up, shift your weight forward. Pull the right knee to the left elbow. Then release and switch other side, left knee to right elbow. And you're just gonna criss cross, criss cross. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. If you're kneeling with a long spine, that is okay. Listen to your body, have compassion where you're working, no judgment. No comparison, self-love. Dig deeper where you can by picking up that pace. Keep that crisscross. Breathe in, breathe out. You got eight. You got seven. You got six. You got five. You have four. And three. And two. Your last one. Bring it all the way down. Fingers out wide, legs out wide, press into those fingertips, press into those hips, round and deeper than you did in your warm up. Really press back, deepen in. Really bend in those knees, pull those toes back, reach your crown up. Shoulder blades down and back, and then release it. Straighten those legs, toes together, hands to your chest line, press upward, facing dog. Push up, downward. Facing dog, breathe. Take your right leg, kick it up, stack your hip. Bring it through for warrior one. Back heel down, lift it up, press in to your front thigh. So right toes forward, back foot, ankles are in alignment, knife edge of the foot kisses the floor. If you have that clock around you, remember your big toes about 1130. No shrugging in the shoulders, draw them down. Woo, let go of any tension. Close your eyes as we're letting go of doubt and worry. Fear, uncertainty, blame and shame. Let it all go, it doesn't serve us. We're the only ones that choose how we allow things to affect us. We're the only one that decides how we feel. This is our power. We can't control outside circumstances. We can control our internal world. So as we physically are moving this body, allow it to do a little reset to the programs that no longer serve us. Set new neurological pathways of faith, of hope, being encouraged and inspired in your day to day. Let's rotate open, warrior two. Sit a little deeper into this hip center and open that back, back foot comes parallel to your mat. Sit deeper into it, reach those arms, expand through the heart center, palms are down, reflecting inward. Gazes over that front arm, sit a little deeper. Balancing, half moon. So your fingers are gonna align with those toes. You're gonna jet it out, back leg comes up. 
So line those fingers with toes. Try not to hold out to the sides. So we want to work on balance. So we want the standing toes to stay forward. That foot will try to turn to compensate. And you want about two or three fingers to line up with those toes. Hip stack, shoulder stack. So the, once you get your balance, the challenge will be to take your gaze up to the ceiling. Breathe. Fall over if you must. That way you know you tried. You stepped out of the box. And then press it back and flip it up and over to reverse. Now big step back, deep and down, lunge into that front leg and reverse it over. Gaze is up through the armpit. Back leg is long, down that back leg without putting pressure on your back knee. And then flip open goddess pose. Toes turn out. Elbows engage to your back. Squeeze. Palms or fingers wide. Spread forward. Squeeze into your back and then reach tall. Sit deep. Reach tall. Get a scapulatory depression in your back as you bring those elbows down and back. Lift up. Move in. Move out. Make sure when you have that seat, knees and ankles line up. Lift tall. Find those engagements of the body as you squeeze the muscles. Squeeze the fascia. Internally ringing out on the cellular level. As we lengthen and strengthen with endurance and stamina to overcome, to relinquish, to surrender. To allow and to be in peace, in love, in joy, in four, and three, and two. Last one, come down, whole squeeze into your back. Pivot yourself around, crescent lunge to the front of your mat. Facing back to the top of your mat. Arms are long, shoulders are down, hands come down. Take that left, right leg, kick it high. Then three times out wide to your elbow. Kick it up, bring it out wide. One more, bring it out wide. Last one, kick it up, and then chaturanga. Upward, facing dog. Push up if you choose, back, downward, facing dog. Left leg kick, stack your hip. Lift your leg high, bring it through, warrior one. Press in, deep and down, warrior one. So left leg's forward, toes are forward, back toes. You got that clock, it's about 1.30. Knife edge of that back, right leg kisses the floor. Press in, hips forward, torso's forward, chest forward, shoulders down, smiles on our faces. Feel the joy bursting through our hearts. I used to when the kids were little, I'd say, put a smile on your face and have a happy day. Put a smile on your face and have a happy day. And put love in your heart. I just made it up. <laughs> but I always sing it to the kids in the morning. <laughs> so now, there you go. <laughs> Sit a little bit deeper. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, it's taking in all oh, this beautiful warrior essence holds for us that we are overcomers, that we are strong and courageous, that we are inspired through our day-to-day, -day, no matter what we go through, we choose to stand faithful in grace and gratitude. Close your eyes. Just feel and breathe. And open up warrior two keep that front left leg right where it's at those hips just turn center no sassiness in those hips expand through the heart center palms are down keeping that attention within as we get a little deeper in our warrior two just find that opportunity for a little more releasing
and then we're going to leap it out balancing half moon so again this left hand lines with those left toes just leap it up about two or three fingers line up with those toes keep those toes facing forward hip stack shoulder stack gaze is up is your last option the idea is you want to challenge yourself to that place And then when you're ready, step it back whoop, and flip those arms up. So it's that left arm up, that lunging into that left leg. Find reverse. That could look like a hot mess or you could have been nice and graceful in it. We all have our own practice going on. Be safe in it wherever you are. Get a little deeper. Make sure you're not putting any pressure on that back knee. And then let's cartwheel those arms. Oh, wait, no, we got to come goddess. Whoop, whoop, I almost forgot. Turn those toes out. Knees and ankles line up. Center those hips. Squeeze into your back. Palms, fingers wide. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Scapulatory depression. Radiate that inner light. Reach up. Squeeze back. Lift tall. Press it back. Lift tall. Press it back. Lift tall. And squeeze. And flow. When you have that seat, the pelvis goes straight down, the crown goes straight up, a long plumb line. So not ticking your booty out as you would in a traditional squat. We're in a plie. So feel that plumb line through the spine from your crown to the pelvic floor. And lift, and lift, and squeeze it back as you come down. And a couple more. Four, three, two, and your last one. Squeeze it deep and hold it. Then pivot around. Find your crescent lunge. Arms are up, shoulders are down. Lunge deep into it. Press in, hold and breathe. Then have the hands come down. Take that left leg, kick it high to the sky. Then three times out wide to your elbow. Kick it up, out wide to your elbow. Kick it up, out wide to your elbow. Kick it up, and then chaturanga. Upward, facing dog. Push up, downward, facing dog. Take a breath, check in, shake your head. If you need child's pose anytime, any time, you can find it. And if you're in child's pose, come to down dog. Lift your heels, gaze between your hands, squat into your thighs, take a big step or hop to the top. Lift tall, find your chair. Moving on, lift tall, find your fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward facing dog. Pull it out to plank, chaturanga upward facing dog. Push up, downward facing dog. Take your right leg, kick it up. Bring it through. Stay low in that runner's lunge. A little pulse in that runner's lunge. Stay low, stay low. Fingers down. Then you're gonna walk to the side and lunge in the side. So the toes just turn. So it's the right toes turn to the left corner. And to stay lunging into that thigh. Left leg is long. Then you're gonna move side to side. Side to side. Then lift the torso. Reach those arms as you move side to side. Toe turns out. That top. I'm like, what the leg is that? My right leg? Yes, yeah, just turn to that corner. Four more. Three more. Two more. And your last one, hold it right here onto that right leg. Flying arms open, chest expands, lifts. You're not laying on that thigh. It's out in front of it, to the side. And then slowly pivot yourself around to the back, warrior one. Reach those arms up. Sit nice and deep, warrior one facing the back. Then opposite elbow, opposite knee, rotate, revolve. Get a little deeper, make sure the front knee and ankle line up. As you are revolved here. Now, if you are revolved and you want to get a little deeper in your 
revolution. Press your, so this is your left thigh. Left hand is going to press that knee as you rotate shoulder stack. You're going to pull your right arm all the way through and get a little deeper. Lunge into it. So shoulder stack, gaze up. If you want to prepare to bind, you can hug your right hand to your left shoulder and wrap your left arm around your back as if you're preparing to put your hand into your back pocket. You can also drop your hand around your back, let it dangle behind you, and take this right hand, hug your left cheek. You can walk it under and find your hands if you want and bind. Just options. There's many levels. So just find what works for you as you hold and breathe. Revolved, ringing out, breathing deep. If you're bound, just feel that breath coming a little deeper, pushing the toxins up, a little more intense. And four, three, two, unravel the hands wherever you are, place them down to your mat. Take that left leg, kick it high to the sky. Grip with your fingers. Tap that toe down. Take that right foot, step it up a print, like maybe a whole foot or two, and then kick that left leg back up. So now your right heel is up, your knee and chest almost meet. You grip with your fingers, they become your feet. You're not leading with your left leg. That left leg stays high in the air. You're pressing off the floor with your right foot, gripping with your fingers. So left leg doesn't move. Keep it up. Press it into that squat, into that right leg. Then press it and lift it up. Grip with your fingers. Hold balance and breathe. Now, it doesn't mean you have to get all the way up there and stay up. It just means you're pressing in. There can be little motions where you're controlling the leg on the left side, keeping it elevated. So just a couple more, wherever you are. And then step it back to your downward facing dog. If you need child's pose, find it. If you want chaturanga upward facing dog, just go through it. And we'll all meet either in child's pose or down dog and hold and breathe. If you are in your child's pose, come back to down dog. Take your right leg, kick it up, stack your hip. Pull it through and walk it center. Got his pose. Turn those toes out. Pulse in. Chest is up. So last time our feet were wide at the edges of our mat, the back of our mat. This time our feet are wider and toes are turned out. Again, we're just bouncing, popping that booty up and down. Letting go. What no longer serves us. You know, the saying, man, that can just be that person or that experience. It's a total pain in my, you know what? But right here, shake it out, shake it out. Doesn't serve us to hold on to it. Let go of those memories. Let go of those thoughts, those emotions. Finding gratitude with it for what it is. Breathing in. Four and three and two. Feel that fire squat. Deep lift the chest, hands prayer. Stay deep into that. Pull that pelvis under, sit a little deeper, hold and breathe in it. Then reach those arms all the way up. You're going to squat deep, sweep hands all the way down and lift up nice and tall. Come all the way down, squat deep, lift tall. Just squat nice and deep, lift tall, hands to the mat. Flowing, lifting, engaging, and breathing. See if you're a big flower, breaking free, bursting forth, lifting up. Use of growing, Whoa. lifting, moving, healing. Just a couple more as you move in and out. It's not a bend, it's a squat plie. So that chest comes down, you're deepening those thighs. And your last one. Lift tall, then toes come forward, hands at heart center. Exhale, hinge it all the way over. Into that straddle, hands at your ankles, gaze between your legs. Now, if you want to take that straddle a little deeper, 
you can. Gaze up through your tailbone. Hold right here. If you want, you can get onto your crown. And if you want to, you can just stay here or press into a tripod or forearms and come into a headstand. If you want to try a, tr a funky version, I would suggest maybe this time taking both fingers and rotate those palms outward back to the back edge of your bottom. So you rotate in, crown comes down. You can pull those legs up wide. So just another variation in your arms. You can keep the legs wide. You can pull them in. Find your bounce. You fall over. Do a little tuck and roll. Be mindful. If you're holding in your straddle with your hands to your legs, it's about lifting that tailbone more up, engaging towards the sky as you lengthen through your spine. If you were upside down, slowly bring yourself down. And then wherever you are, if you're upside down, shake your head a little bit. And then wherever you are, walk yourself around to the top of your mat. Find lizard lunge. Walk that foot to the knife edge of your mat. As you press into those hands, now roll your foot to the knife edge of your foot. So this is the left leg. Press in. So take your left hand, press the thigh. Right hand comes down, shoulder stack, press into your left thigh, and roll to the knife edge and gaze up. If you need your back knee for modification, find that back knee. Make sure you're not putting pressure on your knee, it's on your thigh, just to help deepen in that stretch. Again, waking up in those hips, letting go of anything residual that we got going on. And then release it, straighten that leg as you walk it onto the mat, drop your back heel down, find pyramid. Set that back foot up just a bit as those ankles are in alignment, forehead forward, come down towards your knee as both legs are straight. Now if you want it, <clears throat> take your hands, wrap them around behind you for chest expansion. Clasp those fingers, palms together. Drop your arms overhead. If you can't get your fingers together and palms together, imagine you're holding a beach ball. And just imagine you're gripping, but you want your palms and wrists lined up together as you reach up and over. If you have a towel, you can hold on to a towel or some, a strap. Make sure wrists line up, palms together, drop those arms. As you get a little deeper, both legs are straight, take your gaze to your back big toe. And then slowly release it, bring it down, take that left leg, kick it high. And you're gonna bring it to the opposite elbow, crisscross. Kick it up, one, two more. Crisscross, kick it up, and then one more. Drop it, kick it high to the sky and then chatter on upward facing dog. Push up, down, we're facing dog. Hold and breathe, we got that on the other side. Take the left leg, kick it up, stack your hip. Bring it through, stay low, press in. Press, press, thank you, press. Stay nice and low as you press into that thigh and then we're gonna hold it and then you're gonna just turn your toes and stay pressing into that thigh, it's the left leg. That toe turns to the right corner as you just press in, press in, press in. Keep that fire igniting, hold it. And then move side to side, side to side. Now lift the chest and lengthen the spine, which is arms out as you move side to side. And your last one, I want to lunge nice and deep in that left leg. Chest is out elongated. Arms are squeezing, scapulatory depression. Find those wings. Expand like angels. Sit a little deeper in that left leg. And then when you swoop it around, pivot around warrior one to the back of your mat. Press in nice and deep. Heart expands. The shoulders are down, deepen in. And then bring hands to heart center, revolve it. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Now, if you want to get a little deeper in a revolution, I want you to take, it's your right leg forward, so right hand, press into that hip as you revolve a little deeper, getting that left elbow a little deeper around. Take that top right hand, 
Wrap it with your placement into your back pocket. So you're gonna slide it down, let that arm hang behind you. Your left hand can hug that shoulder or hug your thigh and bottom cheek, or you can wrap your hand underneath and try to find hands together to clasp. Again, there's a level for everybody. So you keep this start at the beginning where your hands are prayer and slowly begin to shift and notice where you're able to work. Keep breathing as you internally ring out, lunge a little deeper. Hold in there, breathe in, breathe out. Then unravel the hands, place those hands down, lunge deep and take that right leg, kick it up. Tap that floor with that foot and then take the left foot, step it up, pull that knee towards the heart center, heel is up on the left leg. Right leg stays up, hands grip, they become your feet. Grippy suction cups and then lift. Press in to that left foot, balance, and lift. Don't swing the right leg. Keep that knee pulled in. Don't swing it so we don't want to throw it. Keep it up. Your last one grip. <coughs> And then step it back, find your child's pose if you need it, or downward facing dog. Shake your head, hold and breathe. Hang in there. I know, I know. Take your left leg. If you're in child's pose, come back to down dog. Meet us whenever you're ready. Take your left leg, kick it up, bring it through, walk it around. Woo! Lift up. Drop those bottoms down. Turn those toes out into the goddess position, into a second position plie, and then pop that booty. Secret twerking. <laughs> Woo, serves its purpose though. Breathe in, breathe out. The actions of our faithfulness produce more peacefulness within it a little deeper. Tell yourself, I'm letting go. This is my power. I choose not to let, let things to affect me any longer that do not serve me. I am healing. I'm learning. I'm growing. I'm expanding. I'm evolving. Let's be authentic in our truth. Feel that fire, I'm there with you. Hang in there for four more, for three more, for two more. Last one, sit deep, lift the torso, expand to the heart center. Oh my goodness. And we're gonna swoop all the way down, lift all the way up. Squat deep, lift tall. Squat deep, lift tall. Squat deep, lift tall. Lift and lift and breathe and left. You got this. You're fluid in our motion. Graceful. Even if we feel like the ugly swan, we can still be graceful and elegant in our truth of who we are. Giving self-love, kindness, and compassion, when we have that for ourselves, we're better able to extend it with non-judgment to others. And just a couple more. And your last one, lift up nice and tall, turn those toes forward, hands to heart center, hinge it over, lengthen the spine, hands come down, gaze between your legs. Straddle that forward fold, you can place your hands to your ankles, get a little deeper. Widen your feet, come onto your crown if you can. This is your practice. Again, you can come into tripod, forearm, or get funky with me, turn those fingertips up and reverse. Those fingertips face out past your bottom. As you bend into those forearms, build that shelf. You can rest your knees on that shelf if you want, and just balance. You can always kick those legs up. You can butterfly your feet, you can widen the stance, you can have legs straight up, you can play around. 
So you can hold in that straddle, lifting tailbone higher to the sky, getting deeper in your bend. Maybe take your legs up through your legs on the other side if you can. There's always a place to grow and deepen in your practice. If you are upside down, slowly begin to make your way down. If you're on your crown, shake your head. Even if you're on your straddle and you want to shake it, shake it. Then walk your hands to the top of your mat. Heel toe that foot off to the side. And so the knife edge of your mat to the knife edge of your foot kisses. So you roll that foot up, press that right hand into that right thigh, left hand down, shoulder knee line up, press in, round, deepen. Hold it, breathe through it. Gaze is up, nice and long. Again, if you need a knee, find it. Always modify where needed. Press, press, press. Hold and breathe. And then bring both hands down. Take that leg, kick it up. And then three times, crisscross, opposite elbow, opposite knee, kick it up. And then crisscross, opposite knee, kick it up. And then crisscross, kick it up. And then chaturanga, upward, facing dog. Push up, downward, facing dog. Lift your heels high on those toes, gaze between your hands, take a big step or hop to the top. Inhale, lift, find your chair, hang in there, we're almost there, we got a little standing segment, and voila. So sit deep, we're gonna work left first, so right elbow to the left side, revolve it. Hold and breathe right here. Sit a little deeper. Take the pressure off of your right foot. Put it all into that left foot and then slowly lift that leg up behind you. Now you're going to come revolve balancing half moon as you open up those arms, place your right hand down, left arm up, that leg is back. Hold and breathe. Then slowly, you're going to rotate the torso center, pull that leg up behind you, pull it up center, and rotate the other direction. Opposite hand extends out and open up. Hold and breathe. Hold and breathe. Hang in there. Yee. Shoulders are stacked. Hips are stacked. Gaze goes behind you with this leg. If you need to hold under your knee, hold under the knee, hold up the ankle. You can also hold a yogi toe hold. And then swoop that leg back behind you, crescent lunge, hold it. Deepen into it. Breathe. So this is where you feel empowered. You feel inspired through your practice. Take it in. Breathe it in. Feel excited. We did a lot of cleansing and internally through our breath work, through our rotations letting go. Now we just forgive. Forgive ourselves. Forgive anything you feel like you need to forgive and just let it go. Leave it here. Feel it washing away as you sit a little deeper. Forgiveness is our personal gift to ourselves. Find compassion is learning grace and faith in our forgiveness as we let go with gratitude, humbleness. And step it up, hands to heart center. Shake it out, shake it out. All right, we got that on the other side. Hang in there, you're almost there. We're gonna go a little extra day because we're really working deep within our own physical structure. Our physical essence working deep inside. So we're gonna burst forth love and light. All right, sit deep. Nice and deep, revolve. Hands at heart center, rotate and revolve. So it's your left elbow, right leg. Feel that joy, woo, it's bursting forth. You feel it, you feel it. Hang in there, sit nice and deep in it. 
Now put all the pressure on that right leg as you're revolved around, shoulders are stacked. Take that left leg slowly, extend it out behind you. Hold it, you'll find your better on one side, then the other, and then open up those arms. Revolve, balancing half moon. So now it's the left hand down, right hand up, shoulders are stacked, hips centered. Leg is up behind you. Breathe in, breathe out. And then slowly shift yourself centered. Lift that back leg up to your knee, come centered. And then opposite hand rotates under that knee, other hand comes back. You can walk your hands down to the ankles, extend that leg out. Or again, you can take a yogi toe hold, shoulder stack, gaze behind you. And again, your standing toes may try to turn to compensate for balance. Don't let them cheat ya. Then slowly take that leg, kick it back behind you. Crescent lunge, arms up, sit deep. Woo! So feel that fire that's at the seat of the soul. It's brimming, it's bursting, that's the joy. That's unspeakable. Because you have faith unshakable. And love that's endless. When we bridge these together in pure happiness. No matter what we experience, this is our bliss. Breathe in. Breathe out. So a little deeper. And then step it up. Shake it, shake it. <laughs> Feel that bliss flowing. All right, stay at the top. Take a big inhale, exhale, fold, squat deep, have a seat. Woo, butterfly your feet. Pull your heels to your pelvis, pull your chest through, exhale over. There you go, Mary, if you can help me out there. And then come tabletop, feet come flat, fingertips behind you, lift your bottom up. Press in, lift and squeeze. Hold and breathe. Imagine you got a plate of food on your tummy. Lift that bottom a little higher. Knees and ankles are in alignment. Shoulders and wrists are in alignment. Lift, lift, lift. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then release it down forward. Fold. Legs extend. Pull your chest through. Tailbone back. Elongate. Take a big inhale. A big exhale. Second time, you come back to tabletop or reverse plank. Fingertips towards your heels. Lift your bottom. Lift your hips. Hold and breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Lift those hips a little higher. Hold it. Shoulders and wrists line up. Hold. And then release forward fold. Again, tailbone back, crown forward. Pull the chest forward. And then right back to tabletop. Reverse plank. This time take the right leg. Kick it up. Lift the hips a little higher. Hold it. Breathe it. Tap that toe to the floor. Releve. Lift it up. Take it down. You're going to passe it. Lift it. And then take it down one more time. Passe to the knee. Lift it up. Drop it down, put that foot down, knee comes in, reach out to those toes, <clears throat> hold and breathe. Hug this right knee into your right shoulder as you come down. And then lift up, opposite hand comes back, right hand back as you revolve, left arm hugs the knee, or you can place that left elbow on the outside of your knee as you revolve. You can also walk your hands through for a bound. It's just nodding through, so left hand that's through the knee. And that right hand wraps around your back. You get a deeper revolution through your torso. Again, yeah, they're all options. You're more welcome to stay here and hug that knee. I got to offer all these different places so you can grow in your practice. And then release wherever you are. Lengthen that leg out. Sit nice and tall, forward fold. Pull that chest forward, then step those fingertips back. Lift your bottom up, tabletop, or reverse that plank. Left leg kicks up, lifting those hips. Heels come down, passe, releve, lift. Take it down, passe, releve, lift. Take it down, passe, releve, lift it up, hold it. Then bend in that knee, place that foot down, sit nice and tall. Hug that knee, reach out for those toes, expand through the chest. Deepen. And then let's flip that arm back, opposite arm comes around, hugs. So hugging that left leg, right hand's behind you, gaze, rotate to the torso. Again, if you want to get deeper, take that right elbow on the outside of that left leg. 
You're going to wrap that hand, just bend the elbow comes up, the arm comes down, and wiggle your hands through your leg. And then say, hey, wiggle those fingers, wrap your hand back behind you. Just options. Find the one that works for you. Dig as deep as you can in your practice. There you go, Mary. There you go. Yes. Beautiful. And then release it. Lengthen that leg. How? Sit tall. Roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time. All the way down. Lengthen your legs. Find Shavasana. Final relaxation. Before we come all the way into Shavasana, pull your right knee in, rotate, spinal, open up those arms, revolve, bring it back center, other side, pull the left knee in, rotate, revolve, bring it back center, come right back to butterfly your feet, opposite hand, opposite elbow over your head, hold. Now you can choose to stay in your Shavasana for right here. Again, we're opening up those hips a little more, allowing a little more releasing. So if you want to stay here, by all means, do so. If you need pillows or anything under your knees to help, you can find some. Or you just lay all the way down with legs out and arms out in complete restorative pose. Whatever's working for you in your practice, get comfortable. Then feel every essence of your being melting into the mat. It's a complete surrendering. This is the final let go. Just feel the breath as it flows in and flows out, allowing the exhale to come a little longer than the inhale as you slow the breath down, feeling restored and renewed through our practice. You did it. It's not easy. I'm here to push you to grow, to expand into your truest essence, to your authentic truth. And for all of us, we are all designed to be in that state of bliss. And it looks different for everyone. That is authentic truth within each of us and how we choose to express it. So as you lay here, just feel anything residual that comes up observe it like a screen there's emotions there's feelings and just watch it dissipate there's no power over you anymore just watch a cleansing a releasing a letting go remember we hold the power as to how we allow anything to affect us we stay faithful in grace and gratitude we can remember that it's okay and we can't control some circumstances, and that's okay. You can't control outcomes, and that's okay. You can't control other people, and that's okay. But what we can control is ourselves, our thoughts, our feelings, and our actions. Because we have integrity within ourselves to be true to ourselves, so we can shine that bliss that is truly our essence, that uniqueness that is us, out into the world. We can love ourselves first before we can love others. So just sit in that space right now, basking in that love. And wiggle your fingers and toes. Just feel yourself completely within your being. Roll to the, to the fetal position on the right side. Feeling whole and complete in love and gratitude. To you give yourself that hug, then press yourself up seated into lotus. And we'll come back to that mudra in the beginning of our practice. Left hand 
palms down, right hands on top, clasp those fingers, inner ganache pose, thumbs just come in, pressing in at that heart, expanding as you pull those elbows out, closing our eyes, drawing that intention, maybe at our third eye, the intuitive place, as we've worked through moving obstacles, letting go, forgiveness and faithfulness. May our fear, spirits have a sense of elevation, feeling light and joyful, feeling free and empowered. And then releasing hands, palms down, palms up onto our knees, just receiving all the bounty of blessings that our practice has to offer us. Take a big inhale. Bring hands, heart center, exhale, and namaste. You guys go rock your day. Mwah! Peace out, babies.